video going to show up, YouTube? There you go. <clears throat> hello, hello. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Joe Peluso. This is Improved with Joe or Joe Peluso Media, and I am distracted from my job search right now, but just doing a quick rabbit hole search and uh, basically just found this topic, random location, and it's one of the many things that just promote provoke so much curiosity and interest in, in my own life, in my understanding of the world, who we are, what's going on. And then just thinking about what if we could take all this different information, use some neural network, artificial intelligence. I mean, there's so much potential with what's happening, technology in the world, where we could actually start to piece together all of these different puzzles, all of these different things. Like, so for this thing specifically, just without getting into the whole topic of the entire world and why we're here and our purpose and everything that happened. I know that's a lot. Sorry, I'm talking fast. It's exciting. Plus, I also need to get back to the job search. Um, the Saskatchewan Mystery Rocks. So we're just going to start out with the location. So this is the world. And if anything taught me about this recent Flat Earth uh, TikTok discussion that I posted about earlier on my TikTok, at Improve with Joe, same thing. There's a lot of different beliefs. And, and either way, a visual of the Earth, it, it, it's helpful. Um, you know, it should be verified, et cetera, et cetera, lots of, lots of stuff. But either way, in the United States, or north of the United States, in Canada, we have right on this line, pretty close, north of Battle Creek, Mary Flat. Here, I'll go back out just to show. It is on private property, so heads up, don't go exploring without permission. Still need to find out who's private property just because I, I want to go explore at some point. <laughs> I'm adding it to my list of destinations, which has grown considerably at this point. But either way, this is the location of where they are, and this is the level of detail that we can see from here. Uh, we'll just loop around a couple times, put on the, that's the 2D actually, so now we have 3D. So we can kind of see this little hill track here, and then all of this green area if we zoom out more. Uh, you know, kind of see that there's a river here, and all these green patches are the lower lying areas of this, of this area. If we go to terrain, we can see that much easier. Um, it's not on the top of this area, the top of this hill, but it does seem to be on a ridge. Um, so it's just interesting to think about because I do believe, uh, look at that, ooh, highest point in Saskatchewan, interesting. So it's not on the highest spot, so it'd be interesting to see if there's anything over here. Because uh, it goes back to the idea that there was a flood way, way back, that we've dealt with glaciers, that we've dealt with higher water levels. And it's possible that this could have extended. There was an ancient lake, uh, well, obviously this lake, but it was much larger. Um, refer back to, oh, I'll post the link later, but I'm not the one who came up with this. Other intelligent people who've been looking at Google Maps for far longer than I have <laughs> came up with it. Uh, it's incredible the things that have been found. I mean, they found bodies, they found people, um, just solved mysteries. Either way, these Saskatchewan mystery rocks. There's no clear indication of what they are. I think recent advancements or recent changes in LIDAR and technology, like what's going on in Mexico and, and the whole Yucatan Peninsula in South America, where they found thousands of different Mayan structures that are just succumbed to the forest and, and to time. So it, it's possible that this is, a, this is absolutely nothing. It could literally be, and that's what it you know generally agreed upon now, a collection of natural rocks, you know, that are separated and have those straight lines just by natural processes. It's very likely the glaciers could have created them, brought them there. They could have been deposited because of some, you know, force involved with the glaciers. But either way, so it went down this rabbit hole and I thought it was pretty cool. It's fun to look at. Just a couple pictures here and go through. Uh, definitely a nice looking area. And it's just a, so that's a, that's a good picture. And I think this was actually taken from this drone footage from this guy, Ryan Wunsch, I think. I reached out to him, hope, hoping to get the 4K footage from him. Uh, but yeah, Mystery Rocks of Saskatchewan near the Cypress Hills. Definitely a little strange place. It does look like it was intention behind it. Um, and it's been described that these little holes are actually from a natural geologic process where a piece of rock or you know gets stuck on top somehow and then the rain and water and wind just kind of you know keep it in that same area because of local depression um, so it's very likely that's possible you know you think there would be more of more of those circles maybe but who knows you know uh, it's just inter interesting to look at interesting to see um, 
Yeah, he first learned about it from Boy Scouts. Then he went out there, and he he, put, he puts a, some mystery in there where the drone actually was having some issues, and he said something didn't feel right. It felt odd, um, and one of the kids ended up going back to the trail and never went there again. Well, he ended up finding it, and these are some pictures. So I didn't incorporate these into the 3D model because there's only one. Uh, I, I could have used them as reference points, but I did very quick just because I knew, you know, it started out as a 4K video, but I wasn't able to capture it on my computer as a 4K. Uh, and then I basically took the video from from the download, kind of like step through it frame by frame, uh, used that in Blender to splice it out, put that in reality capture. And this is what I got from reality capture. Let me put this up here. So bam, in reality capture, I was able to process about 800 images and you know, it, it looks pretty cool. You can, I mean, I need to get more from the surrounding area. Um, I can do that just directly from Google Maps. So I'll do that in a little bit. Or once I actually get the higher quality photos, I'll in incorporate the larger image so you can actually see, just like on, go back to Chrome real quick. Um, so, right. yeah. Um, it will zoom out. So just like this kind of larger area is what I was talking about, because this is only the zone that it shows right around here. Um, so it would just be interesting to see, you know, if there's any other thing that kind of shows up. I would love to do a full drone LiDAR scan of this entire area. That is one of my goals down the road. I need 75 grand to make it happen. I'm going to hope, hope to get the, the M300 and a phase one uh, camera plus the LiDAR sensors and all that. Lots of plans in the works and it starts with getting a new job again. <laughs> Unless I just magically get thousands of Patreon supporters, which isn't likely. But either way, um, back to reality capture. Um, you can see that there's not as much detail as I was hoping. Um, when we get down to the actual, you know, level of it, it's not, you know, we can't see fine detail. We can see these little pock marks that I mentioned before, which could have been ceremonial in some way. Who knows? Maybe it is a natural outcropping, but people used it in, you know, some sort of historically significant way. Maybe there was a giant lake nearby and the glaciers somehow exposed this section, whereas other section, but other sections weren't exposed. Not sure. Um... Here, let me show the actual drone footage just so you can see that. Hopefully YouTube doesn't yell at me. Uh, do, 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 do. Saskatchewan Mystery Rocks. Yeah, it's absolutely uh, incredible the, the detail that you can get in modern day drones. Uh, I'll put a little, or you can find this Saskatchewan Mystery Rocks 4K HD drone aerial footage. Really, if you type in this, it'll, it'll show up. Um, and here you can see, actually, I don't know if you can see uh, OBS. I definitely need a second monitor for, uh, let me just do display capture. Yeah, display capture. All right, now you're seeing everything, but. Uh, these are the pictures that are able to take from the video and just splice them up. So there's all these different ones, probably too many, um, but it definitely is incredible level of detail that you can get sometimes. And then just to think about what if this was done with the phase one camera, which compared to a DJI Mavic Air 2 at, a, I think, a 24 megapixel sensor uh, compared to the phase one, which is upwards of like 100 or 150, like... Oh my gosh, the differences. Uh, by the way, back to, let me get rid of display capture. Remove, remove. All right, back to this. And then we have this other video, which kind of proposes like the, the idea of like a polygonal road. Set out some other of the, uh, you know, polygonal masonry from across the globe. And that's definitely something I'm going to be including in the book. Very excited about just, very interesting to think about and the idea of our history, piecing it all together. Um, so yeah, just wanted to share the 3D model, share the, here, let me go back to the 3D model. Uh, uh, definitely is a powerful piece of software that I'm really looking forward to using more. I did sync some money into it for the enterprise version and I'm going to be using it in every way possible. <laughs> Once I can finally get on this path and plan and, and all that kind of stuff. It's been a lot of stuff, a lot of different ideas here or there. 
Um, very much so enjoy the Columbia trip. If any of y'all are watching, definitely need to go through that footage. Been focused today on jobs, and this was my break. Um, so tonight, going to try to go through that. If not early tomorrow morning or at the at the airport tomorrow. Actually, yeah, I, I might just wait just for the good upload speed in my house. Um, but either way, going through it, definitely excited to see all the differences. And yeah, just to, the idea of exploring and going up to Canada just to document this, just because no one else has. I haven't seen a 3D model of it before. I haven't seen anyone else talking about it. And that's probably because it's nothing. But also at the same time, who knows? Maybe going back to, let's go back to the, the 3D... Going back to here, like, who knows? Maybe there was a grouping of people up here. Maybe that was one of their little, like, ceremonial society or ceremonial sites. And it's like, I don't know. It's just an interesting, like, what is that ridge? It's probably nothing, but... It's just an interesting uh, idea to think about. Our history, our collective history, telling Abby the other day that we shouldn't rename or we shouldn't redate our calendar to 10, 12,000 years ago. That's around when Gobekli Tepe was established or when they think it was established. We should literally change our calendar to 40,000 years ago. How do you think you would grow up? How do you think it would feel for you to grow up knowing that you were living in the year 40,000 or 42,022? Instead of just 2022, which is, you know, defined by certain religious customs and standards and values and all that kind of stuff. 42,022. Does that not give you an additional sense of like purpose and like place and, and understanding? Like we know, okay, we go back that far. Let's just change the date. It's important. Either way, it's one of the campaign promises from down the, for, for way down the road. <laughs> Either way, thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Joe Peluso. This is Improve with Joe, Joe Peluso Media. Just trying to be a positive force in the world. And it's taken some time to do it because the book takes a long time. But I'm about to turn 30 here in 8 or 9, 10 days. I don't even want to think about it. And I'm making a hard stop for the book. So searching my mind, searching the world for every single possible topic or, or variation that I need to include in this first version. I know it doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect. But I can strive for perfection. I can strive for something that I know. But as I say, improve with Joe, it will improve over time. Um, so very much excited, very much so excited to get that done and get it out there. Get back on a normal routine and schedule. I haven't been home in over a week and a half. And it's kind of crazy. It's for the first time in quite a long time, probably since my road trip out to California when I lived out there. But that's a story for another day. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Joe. Please like and subscribe if you like the content and stay tuned.